Hey everyone, welcome to the results vid video of the mini micro corkscrew contest. In this contest, all the players had to build the mini corkscrew coaster design that was made famous by Marcel Voss. And speaking of Marcel Voss, he's here with me uh, to help uh, to help make this video, and we will discuss all these entries. Welcome to this video, Marcel. Hello. And hello everyone and welcome to this guest appearance of me on Dirkling's channel. <laughs> I'm glad to have you here, uh, Marcel. Anyway, <laughs> um, just uh, just as a short summary, summary of uh, what this video will be like, uh, we have 19 entries for this contest. Uh, all the players on my community have given all these entries ratings. And from that we've gotten an average score for these entries. And uh, we will go through all of them. And I'll start with the one that got the lowest score. So let's go check out the first entry. All right, here's the entry that got the lowest score. This is the entry from Gabriel the Trash Cat. <laughs> Very nice uh, names. Yeah, uh, it's fitting because I see some trash on the path. The yeah, bottom. indeed. <laughs> indeed. Uh, he made this uh, pizza place called Pizza Pixel. Uh, and, well, if you look inside, um, there's this uh, course coaster here. But I can see it ha only has one vehicle, so I don't really know if this uh, is the design that you normally also use. Uh, not really, <laughs> but maybe because you know it's a pizza place, they don't usually don't have that much money. It's not like a theme park. It would be yeah. cool though. You just go to like McDonald's and have a coaster ro roller coaster there. <laughs> that would be awesome. I guess this is the budget version of this ride. I hey, anyway, it works. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the next entry. All right, here's the entry from Train Ninja, and he made a little tennis court with uh, your coaster design. <laughs> is it me, or is one of the sides bigger than the other? It's kind of an unfair advantage, isn't it? <laughs> that could very well be. Uh, Not really a fair sport. <laughs> no, actually, that they, nice. yeah, one of the fields, uh, the one of the court halves uh, may be bigger. That's what you mean. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, that's actually. Uh, and that's actually what it looks like indeed. But yeah, I think this is a pretty nice usage of these coasters. Uh, I do th think it sort of gives the feel of an actual tennis match. <laughs> it, it, it's nice. It's sort of, you know, you've got a duality going on. I often synchronize them as well. And yeah, the mechanic has loads of space on this little, uh, well, not little chair, massive chair. Yeah, it's actually not the mechanic. It's a, it's a guest. Yeah. I meant to say referee, but yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I can't English. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check out the next entry. Ooh, that's a massive building. Yep, this is the entry from the Cloud QC, and this tower is called Marshall Tower. And He's a it... frequenter of my stream, so uh, makes yep. sense that he built something like this. And in in it are actually four uh, of these uh, little coasters. Now, at first, actually, all of these coasters had a different car type, like one had the shark uh, coaster cars. Um, well, there's a few more of these corkscrew coaster trains, I believe one also has a dragon, but um, those actually were not allowed for this uh, contest. Uh, everybody had to stay uh, old school. Makes sense. I see he's going for the Dazzling Color Schemes Award, because they're all colors that you need for that award, so I don't yeah, know if you got it. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's quickly check. No, I don't see it. But that's if we fast wrong, forward, that uh, was the wrong tab that you clicked on. Really? Yes, you need to click one to the right. Oh, of course. <laughs> he still didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting schooled by Marshall Fuss. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, that, it did get the most beautiful park award, so that's something. It's very pretty. All right, let's move to the next entry. All right, here's the entry from Terror Toaster. Now, um, okay. he did more, just did more or less did a sort of less more uh, sort of uh, normal themed entry. <laughs> I mean, so, uh, yeah. it's not entirely your standard everyday theme park with a bubbling pit of tar. It looks cool. I like the, I really like the bones around the station. Yeah, I think um, this is a situation where the expansion scenery was used pretty nicely. Yeah, you know, everyone always hates on it and, you know, not without reason, but some of the pieces you can use very well in situations like these. Yeah, I think the coaster doesn't even look very out of place here. I think it all uh, 
comes together very nicely. Yes, I do like the, the old school color scheme as well, the default color scheme for the Corsco coaster. Yeah, <laughs> I always recommend people to uh, to change the default color scheme. And I think it's actually fun that you immediately see that's the default color scheme. Yeah, I've used the so much. I, I mostly use the default one. That's the one I've saved. I've multiple saved, but they're all default color schemes. So I know very well what it looks like for the corkscrew. <laughs> yep. And the, most of the viewers do as well. So uh, when people don't change the color scheme, some people might think it's a little bit lazy. But still, I yeah. think this is a very nice entry. I do too. I like it. All right. This entry is from Madazog. And what's actually funny about this name, Marcel, is that when you put the name backwards, it spells glazed ham. First, I thought <laughs> it was a German name. <laughs> I mean, it just sounded like some kind of language that I don't speak to me as well, but actually makes sense. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, you, you can see uh, the fun things you can do with this uh, micro uh, core screw design. Some people do some really creative things with it. Now, I don't have the story for this entry in front of me, but it was uh, some noob in a game that uh, encountered uh, the chaos elemental and he was trying to slay it uh, in battle. And as you can see from the health bar above it, uh, he's already two thirds down. Oh, that's a health bar. I didn't know that. I was wondering what that was. Yeah. My first instinct <laughs> was traffic light, even though that was obviously wrong. I like <laughs> it. it. It did immediately stood out that it was some kind of creature. It's, it's really cool. I see circuses, I see ice, I see abstract things, I see tent roofs, uh, I think, Maybe like mints from the candy theme? Yeah, that's correct. There are so many cool scenery items in there and the rides. I like it. Yeah, for my contest, um, we actually have DKSO tabs for every uh, uh, normal scenery uh, set that you have. And what's special about these is that we have included all these co recolorable versions of normal scenery items in them. So that's, for example, why you also see these walls in the gray color and these browns. Yeah, I'm very used to that, but it's, it's very nice because sometimes you have the perfect senior item, but it's just the wrong color. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next entry. Okay, here's the entry from BG, BJT T Gaming. I'm still struggling sometimes to uh, pronounce these letters the English way <laughs> when you're used to that. Anyway, um, he made this uh, uh, sort of industrial entry with all these uh, killer chemicals, as you can see. Yeah, I don't no. think they're exactly <laughs> holding up <laughs> to environmental regulations. Doesn't no, Doesn't seem very not. safe to me, but hey, the plants are somewhat still alive, so, you know, <laughs> there's maybe. tourism money from the roller coaster, so it kind yeah. of evens out. Yeah, maybe it was very recent, so that's why... Maybe. Only the trees in the water have died. <laughs> I only just now spotted the corkscrew coaster. Yeah, it is... probably would have been nice if it was a little bit more prominent in this. Oh, wait, uh, there's this another entry. one. There's two. Uh, I didn't see that one yet. There's one in the back as really? well. Yes, yeah, turn it around twice. You see one in the back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I yeah. only spotted that one. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're well hidden. Yeah, yeah. It looks like they're part of the cranes. Yeah, sort well of, done, uh, yeah. BJT. Oh, okay, wow. this, uh, this is the entry from Soccer Dude. And Soccer Dude, uh, I think he's a SimCity fan. Because uh, he themed this entry on a disaster in uh, SimCity. So over here oh, you can see this uh, yeah, UFO with some tentacles coming out, apparently. Marcel Cork. <laughs> it looks yeah. like he's attacking the city. And here you can see part of uh, what I think is a bigger corkscrew. Or a bigger coaster that uh, has been uh, cut into pieces. Now only this section is available. That's so creative. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really impressed by this. And the monorails used as kind of like the beam that it uses to uh, transport things up. Yeah. I'm always so impressed by these kind of creative uses. It's not like it's a technical, technically very difficult thing to place as monorails there. But it's just the fact that you think about it. That's cool. Yeah, and I I really like how he made these uh, buildings in a, in a very simple but fun way. Yeah, it's it's so simple, but you have to have the knowledge to know how to use it to do good things that are simple. 
Yeah. All right, here's the entry from J Radio. Now, he actually used uh, a trick that I showed in a tutorial once, uh, which is uh, yeah, a trick which allows you to make floating islands in the sky. But the most fun thing that he did in this entry was that he actually used a palette that makes gives all the guests blue faces and also this particular scenery object. Oh, it's an avatar thing. I've yep. never seen avatar, so I didn't immediately recognize this. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is actually really cool. I think this is uh, one of the best uses I've seen for this particular scenery object. Uh, you don't see it very often in the entries for these contests. <laughs> you do see it very often on my live streams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People ask for it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I bet. <laughs> but how are those islands made? Are they? I thought they were just fake land scenery items, but apparently not. No, there's actually a trick where you put some uh, uh, land in front, and then uh, you make the land invisible, and then some glitchy stuff happens, and then you have floating land. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you uh, how it's done later. All right. All right, here's the entry from Daniel the Dragon. Uh, well, he made this uh, very cool looking forest, I think. I really I like the way he did these uh, trees. Is it like Chinese-like or something like that? Or do I just have my architecture entirely wrong? Uh, I, I'm not really sure. The, the buildings themselves, they look a little bit more uh, like a medieval castle, maybe. But uh, maybe the foliage, I think it could definitely fit in an Asian landscape. I like it anyway. It's the same gray one that we saw in the crane, but in a very different environment. Yeah, it, I think it, the I think these buildings uh, look great. Uh, I probably uh, would have given them a little bit more windows, uh, just to make the building look a little bit more inviting. But I still think it yeah, looks really cool. I, I'm not particularly fond of the hole that the car screw comes out of. It looks a bit, I don't know, it looks a bit janky. Yeah, something about maybe, it doesn't look uh, entirely right. I think it would be would have been more fun if this tower was uh, moved a bit and you could just see it uh, just poke just out of the tower maybe or maybe through a window or uh, something like that. Yeah. But still, just uh, yeah. slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> but still, I think uh, uh, overall this uh, entry looks really nice. Yeah, great job on the buildings. They look beautiful and the forest as well. Yeah, fully agree. All right, let's check out the next one. All right, uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Lord of the Rings. Yes, this is the Belrog scene. Yeah. I've so. recently watched all of Lord of the Rings Extended Edition um, in one day with some friends. Wow. <laughs> well, I it's... have to admit something. I've never actually fully watched the Lord of the Rings movie. I tried a few times, but every time I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but they are quite long. Yeah. Oh, I like the whip. It's even got the whip. Yeah. Is the course coaster like supposed to be Gandalf? Uh, <laughs> I think it's, it's actually it's actually called "You Shall Not Pass." Well, Gandalf <laughs> says that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's at least something I still know. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Very creative and well done on the Belrog. It's maybe you could have used a little bit more red because I think it's not entirely black in the movie, so I didn't immediately recognize it. <laughs> But other than that, you know, it's a good job with all the scenery and track architecture. Yeah, here you can see the good use of all these recolorable uh, scenery pieces. And yes. also the single rail coaster track pieces here on top. Yeah. The only thing I don't really like about this entry is that it's so difficult to uh, see everything. Because from every angle you look, there's this cliff or this structure blocking some part of uh, the view. Yeah, I think it would have been maybe better if they lowered the cliff side where your cursor is right now, that side, so that you could view it from that angle. Yeah, probably uh, would have been a good idea. Something like this? I think, uh, yeah, this would yeah, have well, been Yeah, well, I still better. miss a bit. It's just also the natural design, but it's yeah. still very well made. Yeah, I fully agree. All right, here's the entry from Sol X. Now, uh, his entry didn't really have much of a story. He said it was just uh, uh, a little uh, park somewhere in the mountains that just wanted to show its new coaster, Intertwine. You can almost give each other a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> at the point where you intertwine. 
<laughs> that would be a hell of a selfie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but from this angle, it looks a little bit more... Um... Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, the guests Look. come really close to each other. <laughs> looks kind of dangerous. <laughs> yeah. But fun. No risk, yeah. no fun. <laughs> I like the, the park where it's just clearly just a smaller bit of a larger park. You know, the chairlift just, you know, doesn't actually go off screen, but it looks like it goes off screen. It yeah. almost looks like you've just turned on the cutaway view and just selected this 15 by 15 area of whatever size it exactly is. Uh, I think this is one of the coolest tricks in the park, actually. So he put a, a mini golf track piece here and some station pieces, and together they make a little seating area with a table. Oh, that's magnificent. Yeah. That's really cool. I also really like this little river that he made with these... Uh, uh, scenery pieces from the expansions uh, with these rocks on the side and a little waterfall. Oh yeah, that's great as well. I like those scenery pieces. I used them a lot when I was younger. It's kind of, I think it's part of the mythological set. Yeah, correct. I like them. Yeah. All right, let's check out the next entry. All right, here's the entry from Manticore 007. And I believe he made uh, the mad scientist Marshall Foss's uh, Laboratory, something like that. <laughs> well, Mad Scientist is my flair on Reddit, so yeah. uh, <laughs> that does make sense. Yeah, so here you see a big sign with your name on it and Laboratory. Um, he actually used uh, one of these uh, expansion twists here as the roof one of this building. One of the 20 building. billion variants of the twist. I think uh, I never really liked using the twists, but I think this is amazing. It just fits yeah, so well here. The twist is one of the worst flat rides in terms of what you expect and what you get, but that looks really cool. And yeah. I see observation tower below as well and the time machine ride. Yeah. That's nice. So here he used the no entrance, no platform uh, option that OpenRC2 gives. Yeah, that's or, or fairly would, recent as well, right? Or else it would look like this. <laughs> you could, could you get rid of the entrance or the platform oh, with looks like, like it, some uh, other tricks as well? I think I found a bug. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'll write that down. <laughs> anyway, um, here's also a really cool uh, thing. You Do you know this robot object? Yeah, that's the entrance, the park entrance. Yes, correct. And uh, he actually just used it as scenery here. Or he just that's copied and pasted it here with the tile inspector. And nice custom supports as well. Yeah. And some block breaks behind, or not block breaks, just breaks behind the coaster, which aren't actually used, but look nice. Uh, he actually used this as the transfer track. The real coasters usually have a transfer track, which is used to uh, get the train out and uh, put it in storage. So you can see this track here, and uh, this track, uh, the, co the coaster train would be able to go in this track, and then the track would slide to the to this area, and here you can see the storage for the coaster. Completely forgot about uh, transfer tracks, but yeah, that, that does make sense. Yeah, some extra realism there. And you're also in this in this park here as an entertainer. You can see a frozen oh, Marshall Fuss. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's such a simple thing, but it's I just needed some kind of intro for my first video where I spoke, which is like four and a half years ago. And I just said hello, everyone. It's so generic, but it's become yeah. my catchphrase. <laughs> Yeah, I've uh, actually heard it in some other videos as well, or at least one. <laughs> yeah, and yours is kind of, hey, everyone. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next entry. Ooh. All right, here we have the entry from Lurker. And he made this giant uh, lily pad. That's a massive flower. I see yeah. so many different coaster types. I see a wooden coaster. I see a mine train coaster, a single rail coaster. Um, I think there's something on some wooden cars as well, or is that just chain lift? I think it's no, ghost, ghost train, train. track. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And of course, there's all these uh, cars flying around here. Yeah. And of course, corkscrew coasters as well. <laughs> yeah. 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 Of course. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think uh, Lurker did a great job at using these corkscrew uh, track pieces actually as part of the decoration. Yeah, that too. Are the guests kind of supposed to be some kind of pollen or something? Um, yeah, that could that could very well be. 
I wonder if he did this using the peep editor plugin or if he actually used the cheat that uh, gives everybody purple shirts. But since they also have purple pants, I think he did it with a, with a plugin. Yeah, yeah, that's the name that you can give to a guest and gives everyone purple shirts around them. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite curious how that works. They just have a magical endless supply of purple shirts and throw them to everyone in their vicinity. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Right here's the entry from Enox. Uh, Enox just made a beautiful looking entry. Yeah. <laughs> I see references to videos of mine. Because millions was in the. Uh, yeah, these are all things that I put in the thumbnails of my recent videos. Deadly Forces was from the highest GeForce possible. Cheating was where I discussed um, whether using Microcoast is cheating. Too crowded is how to solve overcrowdedness. And millions is from the longest queue line possible. Wow, I like this. All right, uh, I was already wondering uh, what these were references to, but uh, I'm glad you were here to explain it. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's it's yeah, you know, in a real theme park, these would be just mysterious signs. Just yeah, cheating, <laughs> deadly forces. While you're on a you know quite a calm theme park, I like this. This is well done, and not just that, but also the scenery as well. Beautiful yeah. building, beautiful, I don't know, like, what do you call those, awnings or whatever that, that they walk through. Yeah, Enox is just uh, great at making realistic looking parks. Uh, his parks are just so beautiful. Actually, my favorite part in this uh, park is this truck that he made. So this yeah. is, uh, this from? is, uh, so there's a pickup truck here in front. Oh, oh wait, wait now he used wait, the right vehicle editor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used the right vehicle editor plugin to uh, change some of the cars around, so it's not actually a pickup. And here on top, you can see the the front vehicle of an air-powered uh, vertical coaster. That's um, so creative. Here's some more air-powered uh, vertical coaster vehicles to make these wheels here. Oh, I was wondering what that was, and of course the wooden wild mouse track on top as the flat pad. Yeah, with the right vehicle at the plugin, you can actually now um, select the vehicle, oh. and you can also move them uh, somewhere. Yeah, I don't know if I have this updated version. Not that I really ever use it. This, this, and the scenery manager plugin, that kind of stuff, is really just not what I do. No, <laughs> <laughs> but I really appreciate all the work that people are able to do with them. Yeah, it's 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 amazing. All right, uh, we actually have a tie for fourth place. So this is one of the entries that got fourth place. And this one is from Flixpy. That's very golden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> My first instinct is just gold. Yeah, yeah, money. yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he did a wonderful job here uh, with this uh, building. The building shape itself, I think it's already uh, really nice. But uh, yeah, these coasters definitely don't look out of place here. And I think they uh, actually work great here. I actually yeah. wonder if they're uh, synchronized or if they're... Yeah, they actually do look synchronized. So there's probably some uh, invisible parts of these tracks all next to each other. Yeah, I've used that trick a bunch of times as well to uh, make unsynchronizable coasters synchronized. These things work really well on these kind of four-way symmetry things. Just like he did for this tower. So I'm yeah. impressed by that. Looks really nice. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a wonderful entry. Especially love the spire of this tower. Uh, yeah, I just think it looks really nice. It's well done. All right, here's the other entry that got fourth place. This one is from Berem the Bomb. That's uh, just a quite a big coaster. It just doesn't make it past the first corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually. Uh, actually, there are different rides because of the rules for this contest, but indeed the story was... Uh, I don't remember exactly what the story was, but I think it was about um, a company that tried to make improvements to some coaster and they failed and uh, he got beheaded with the gelatine uh, and more, uh, oh, <laughs> more, uh, more details like that. It was actually uh, pretty funny to, uh, to read. But yeah, just randomly uh, try to make some improvements. Suddenly, oh, there's a guillotine involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the glitch at the bottom? Um, I think, uh, yeah, not really sure. Yeah, these uh, 
wall pieces have been placed exactly on the edge and there's some stuff happening above them so that's uh, probably okay. why it's glitching out a little bit makes sense yeah so that's why i usually avoid placing these walls exactly on the same place as the edge of the land but yeah that's uh, that's just sometimes uh, what you get um he also used one of the new colors for the for the coaster oh that's deep water right yeah yeah yeah, I saw you also uh, played around a lot with the new colors in your last video. Yeah, the one I uploaded just a few hours ago. It's just, it uses much more for new colors than I've mentioned, but you yeah. know, can't mention it every time. It's getting very repetitive. <laughs> I like yeah. the umber. There's the new very dark brown color. It yeah. works very well for. I used this for the support on the mine or the wooden wild mouse, and it works very well. It looks very yeah. good. Yeah, I uh, used the maroon a lot. But yeah, just a lot of great additions, especially the tan and the beige. The beige uh, actually looks a little bit different in this uh, particular palette. But yeah, I, yeah, uh, I did notice that the water yeah. was a different color. Yeah, but uh, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the new colors. I think it's a great addition. I like them too, and just a better ordering of colors as well. I'm always nostalgic for stuff, so I'm gonna miss the old ordering, but the new ordering is better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we have the entry that that uh, got third place and muscle you will love this entry now you'll have to follow this uh, uh wild mouse around because it's a marble and this is a big um. marble track and the end result i think you will love it will we get uh, some kind of big reveal of something um uh, maybe <laughs> oh here it goes back up using the you're, wheel. you're hyping it up now <laughs> I mean, this already looks cool, but I'm expecting uh, something big. Yeah, 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 yeah. It actually took me a while to to see it. But here's the second corkscrew. In here, you see something happening. Boom! Oh wow! <laughs> Damn! Now, do you see what this is? I think that's <laughs> supposed to be my profile picture. <laughs> Let me use the cutaway view. <laughs> okay, that makes it a bit easier to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a, bit, a few weird shapes to it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, considering yeah. what we know it should be, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I only saw what this was the third time uh, that I saw it. <laughs> If I just saw this park in passing, I definitely would not have recognized it no. if I didn't know it was about me. <laughs> but uh, I yeah. like it. Yeah, the monorail here was called Marshall Details. And first I was like, <laughs> okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> I like oh, yeah. as well with the fact that lots of coasters crash. I'm always in favor of crashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I thought, was, uh, I thought it was pretty fun with the... Um, but it looking like the coaster goes it triggered this one uh, and then uh, and the mar marble that you can follow around etc i thought it was a really creative entry that's a wonderful job the one downside is that it only works once and then you have to reload it for it to work again yeah but it does make it more of an experience instead of just here's a park yeah <laughs> i fully agree all right um there's just two entries remaining um what I usually do is uh, I first show both of those entries and after that uh, I will reveal which one is the winner just to keep up the suspense. All right, so let's go check out the last two entries. Whoa. All right, here's the entry from Blue to Full Monday and Blue to Full Monday loves the game um, Call of Duty Black Ops, I believe, because there you also have a zombies mode. And there you can have several staffs or something. And this was supposed to be the staff of lightning. That's uh, incredibly detailed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is this is insane. And it's so huge Jeff, that I cannot... Yeah, it, it's, it's very good that you didn't give mm. any kind of support limit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have to zoom out uh, or uh, change the scaling a bit, actually, in order to uh, fit this entry in my screen uh, fully. Yeah, that's the one downside of building vertically in Roller Coaster Tycoon is that if you fit it in, you have massive amounts of empty space on the sides. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, it looks fantastic. I see so many different kind of tracks, and it's just yeah. 
amazingly well done. I would not have gotten this, you know, because I don't play Call of Duty Black Ops or whatever game it exactly was. Yeah. But I can still I... appreciate the detail anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I just knew it because I read it from the story. Else, I would have just guessed it's a World of Warcraft thing or something. But <laughs> yeah, some kind of magic style from some yeah, kind yeah, of game. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, what can I say? Just a wonderful entry. Uh, I love all the track and texture details. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, the one thing I will have to criticize this for is that it's a really cool build, but it's not that much in the theme of of this video because sure yeah. there are the two corkscrew coasters there but they're kind of there they're just very there. Tiny. They're just there and there's yeah. just a cool build that's got nothing to do with it around it so the build is very cool but it's not my favorite entry i've seen so far because it's not about the corkscrew coasters yeah yeah i get what you mean um yeah, this, this entry could have just done as well without these collection coasters. That's probably what you mean. Yeah, it would have then been it would still look cool. <laughs> but still, uh, overall, I think it's just an amazing looking entry. It, it is. All right. And now we will check the last entry. All right. And the last entry we will see is the one from Skiffa. Uh, Skiffa made this uh, sacrificial uh, temple. And... <laughs> What's really I funny about like like. <laughs> uh, so basically he named all the guests that are in the queue for this uh, for this coaster, and he named them all after members uh, on my Discord. So I was actually the first one to drown. Uh, every single one. Every single one. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of work. Yeah, and you're actually also uh, in between here somewhere. I know that because I checked the guest list and I found a Marcel uh, in there somewhere. I mean, I have a member on your Discord server, not particularly yeah. active, but I am on there. <laughs> but yeah, other than the, this really creative aspect of the entry, um, it also just looks amazing. Um, I love this red watercolor, which is obviously a blood, but also the actual usage of this track as uh, the spine of this, uh, uh, yeah, what looks like a, a skeleton snake or something. Yeah, but also if we're going in the, you know, what I mentioned with the previous entry, if we're going for the kind of theme of, you know, as people call it, the Marshall Corkscrew, a theme in my videos and live streams is that I kill a lot of people. Yeah. So that's very on brand. So yeah. I'll give an extra point just from that. Yeah. It's also called Blood Ritual. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is a really fun entry. Um, very well done. Um, I just love that he uh, drowns all my Discord members. <laughs> Incredibly well done. It was very yeah. funny. Yeah. All right. Those were the final two entries. And I will now reveal which one of these last two entries is the winner of this round. Is it the Sacrificial Temple from Skiva? Or is it the Beautiful Wand from Beautiful Monday? And the winner of the mini micro question contest is... Skiffa! Now, the last two uh, entries both were uh, wonderful, but uh, yeah, I think uh, Skiffa's entry, um, I think it just used this coaster uh, better for the for the theme of this, uh, of this entry. But, uh, it fits in a bit better, so yeah, yeah. I said, you know, just extra points from there. But well done to both players and to everyone else, but yeah, these two were just from a scenery standpoint. Absolutely magnificent. Well, the previous one was better from a scenery standpoint, and then it's just from a storytelling standpoint. Fantastic yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, but uh, other than these two entries, uh, we got lots of amazing entries uh, in this round. So I want to uh, give a big thank you to everybody who joined in this contest. And I also want to give a big thank you to uh, Marshall for joining me in this uh, video. Did you enjoy it, uh, Marshall? Oh, I certainly did. I loved looking at these. Thank you for having me on. All right, no, no problem at uh, at all, Marshall. Uh, all right, um, yeah. If you want to join one of these contests, uh, you can become a member on my Discord server. Discord's completely free. You can find a link to my Discord server in the video description. 
And I'll also drop a link to Marcel's Discord in the video description. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again in the next one. See you later. Bye.